G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, and in a project recently I had to go through and work out what version I, I had a whole bunch of executables and I needed to determine what compiler they were built with, and there was either Delphi or C++ Builder. And what I found was this utility called Detected Easy, and it's for analyzing executables, and you know, for various platforms. I'm only interested in Windows at this stage, and you can install it via, via Chocolatey or the Microsoft Store. Or you could download and compile it, presumably, as well, if you wanted to. Uh, I installed it through the Microsoft Store. That was uh, really straightforward. And here it is. So if I go and pick an executable, such as Notepad, we can see that it was uh, compiled with C++, uh, in fact, Visual Studio 2022. And it's a 64 word application, and it, it's a GUI application. So this will be either GUI or console on Windows. And I can go grab another. In fact, I don't need to do that. I can paste that in. And again, we see it's a 64 word application. 64-bit application, it's a GUI. This time it's compiled with Delphi 12. 12.0 uh, might be true. Uh, no, in fact, this is 12, compiled with Delphi 12.3. So uh, it doesn't give you an exact uh, match, but yeah, pretty close. I mean, that's binary compatible. So uh, <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, object Pascal and so on. And I think if it's on that one, this gives you a little bit more information related to uh, sort of Delphi C++ builder stuff. Uh, Turbo Linker version 8, version 8, and yeah, okay, so we can grab another one. And we can see that this time it was, it's 32-bit, also a GUI application, and so on. And so it allows you to determine what an ex any XE is compiled with, and it might, you might need to know that uh, if you're wanting to rebuild the um, that's basically same executable under similar conditions. And when I go back to projects, and I can just search for start.exe and scroll down until we find something old. Um, oh, here we go from 2014. And we can see that was built with. Delphi oh, XC2 to XC8, so that's not, not particularly specific. Let's have a look at the detected easy XC2 to XC6. So it gives you an indication as to what, what it was built with anyway. There's obviously a lot more to this. For instance, if you want to look th through all the strings in the file, we can see there are lots of lots and lots of strings and possibly uh, passwords and all sorts of things that you might have hiding in your executable that you might want to track down. And lots of, it's lots of other details. You could probably use this to determine a bit more about the executable, should you need to. But anyway, this is all I wanted to cover. Obviously, this is used uh, in quite sophisticated applications. I've managed to crash it a few times, so it's not, not completely bulletproof, but it's pretty good. I've I found just these basic de detection rules to be quite helpful in determining what the uh, executable is built with. So I hope you've found this useful. I'm Alistair Christie, and I'll see you in the next video.